My name is Aretha Marquez from SA Dance. So welcome to our contemporary dance tutorial. In this session, we're going to be working on the rolls. So it's really important in contemporary dance that we learn how to roll down through the spine and roll back up with the correct technique. So we're going to step to the side. We're going to have our legs hip distance apart, nice strong with the body, belly button going up, tailbone going down, shoulder blades go down. Lengthen the spine. We're going to take a deep breath in. And you're going to start moving the head slightly, lower the chin down, move the cervical spine, the neck, upper back, mid back. When you get to this position, you soften the knees to protect your lumbar spine. Let the head be heavy and you're rolling, rolling, rolling. The weight wants to go back to the heel and keep working on the weight coming to the front of your feet, to the toes. Relax the head down. Move your head to the side to release tension of the neck and shoulders and to the other side. Make sure the weight is on the balls of the feet. We're going to roll up and rolling up, we're going to soften the knees. We're going to think about belly button going up to the spine and keep your eyes towards your belly button. Relax the shoulders and rolling each vertebra at a time, bone by bone by bone. All the way up and once you're up, open the chest rise to find your core, your balance, your center, Just push the shoulders down and top of the head growing tall up to the sky and slowly working through lowering down that feeling of pushing the heel down while the spine has the energy moving upwards. That's the role for the beginners. Once you progress it can be done slightly different. Another important thing is to learn how to do contractions. So in contemporary dance, when we do our contractions, we want to tuck the tailbone under and bring your belly button towards you. So in this movement here, you're going to go ah, exhale. Engage the deep layers of your abdominals, pelvic floor and transversus, and get that tilt of the pelvis, the pelvis coming up. Very careful that sometimes people release the shoulder forward, don't let that happen. It's like the movement is coming from the pelvis going up and the tailbone going down. And it's usually done with an exhale. That looks much better. So you go like that. And you can move the arms forward and back up. Go. And roll. Exhale. And roll. Exhale. And roll. Make sure you feel the core working. Exhale. We also want to learn in contemporary dance how to do our nice flat back. So if I'm in this position here, I can have my legs parallel in second position, grow very tall, and keep the weight on the balls of the feet. So we don't want this because you can go back into hyperextension of the knee and it's just not good for your joints. Pull up nice and tall, keep the weight on the balls of the feet, and you're gonna move forwards here. Gonna reach the arms up and over and bring it up. That's it. Now lengthen the top of the head away from the tail. Sometimes people get to leave the head up and you've got to be very careful so it doesn't um, strain the neck. So keep lengthening the back of the neck, chin in slightly, engage the core. And here we're going to open the arms and you're going to bend, plie, and stretch. That's it. And plie, keep engaging your core, don't drop it. Stretch, keep the weight on the balls of the feet, don't let it go back. And plie and stretch, engagement of the ribs, and here, and stretch, reach the arms up and over, all the way down for a stretch, tailbone up to the sky, bend the knees, and just roll like we've done the first one. So of course we can put all of this together in a warm up. So we could go rolling through the spine, rolling back up, exhale, contraction, release, contraction, Release and contraction. Release, arms up. Reach forwards, lengthen the spine. Open the arms, flat back, engage the core, plie, and stretch. Feel the stretch on the hamstring and gluteus, plie, and stretch, plie, and stretch. Release it down, rolling up. All right, if you enjoyed our beginner's tutorial, 
three very important exercises that we do in contemporary dance. And if you would like to learn more, get in touch with us at Say Dance in the UK, Stage Art Dance. If you send us a message or drop us an email, we'll be able to find the right class for you and for your level. We offer classes from for beginners, intermediate and advanced children and adults. Thank you.